Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can download text from the internet in Python. Let's get into it. So I have got a text file hosted on Pastebin, and we can access the raw text file using the raw URL, and the aim is to get all of these lines printed in the console in our Python program. You can then use this as the basis to manipulate that data. This could be a text file hosted on a website, something hosted on GitHub pages, maybe a raw Google Sheets document, whatever you like. Firstly, you need to do pip install requests. You can either do this in your Python console, or if you're in Visual Studio, you can go to your Python environments here, right click, go to manage Python packages, and type in requests, then click on requests, and then you'll install the requests module, which is required for HTTP requests. Let's get into the code. Firstly, do import requests, so we can access the requests library. Then we're going to do these two lines of code. We're going to do file URL, then the URL, which contains the text you want to download. And then we're going to do response equals request.get, file underscore URL. So this line uses the get method from the request library to perform a HTTP get request to the URL stored in file URL. The result of this request is stored in a variable, which we've called response. And this response object contains many attributes and methods to interact with the data returned in the request, including the status code and the text that's in the location of the URL. So now we're going to do if response.status underscore code equals 200, and we're going to have some code in here that we'll do in a second, but we're also going to do an else statement, print fail to retrieve the file status code, then the status code. So we're going to check the response code. If it's 200, it indicates that the request was successful and the server responded with the data requested. This ensures we only try to read data if we have a successful request attempt. And in the else statement, this means, okay, so the status code wasn't 200, so something went wrong, so let's print out the status code to inform the user what the error was. Now let's put some code in the if block. So we're going to do lines equals response.text.split lines, and then we can do for line in lines print line. So we can do response.text, and this is a string containing the raw text fetched from the URL. So all of the lines of text that we have, and then we can do split lines to basically put each line of text in its own element of an array. And then we can loop through that array and print each line on its own line. And we've essentially split up the data by line. You could do this with a delimiter, like with commas, if you want to. The possibilities are endless here. But let's save our working tip plate to see what happens. As you can see, it did successfully print out those four lines of text from that URL on Pastebin, which is great. But what if we put in a URL that doesn't exist? So I put an A on the end, and it says, fail to retrieve the file status code 404. Now that might actually look familiar from browsing the web. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.